Okay, so if you watch um, the video called Discrete Time Convolution 1, um, this is still the same um, problem, but using a different method as well. And so um, still within uh, this, this, this summation right here, x of k, uh, using the shifting method, um, you can also solve it that way. Um, this is not any faster but um, it kind of helped you to see how we we uh, we came up with, with that so with convolution if you're familiar with it uh, you have to fix one function or maybe signal and then you move the other one and that's for graphical convolution um, but this is kind of mathematical but it's still the same concept really and so if you have like a, you know, so let's say we um, we shift the uh, x of n, so we have minus 1, 2, 1, 1, and 0. And if we look at the, so n minus k, and so that means we are sh um, shifting it to the right correct to the right and so we would start um, minus one two okay so we'll start over here at zero for x of n and we have one two minus one and minus two Okay, so for x of n, we multiply by minus 1, and then we shift it to the left. That's what we did here. Because after I uploaded that video, I kind of remembered this method as well. Um, and so, okay, because I'm just writing as I remember the steps in class, from class. Uh... All right, so since this is a summation, we're multiplying. So this is your y of n, I guess. And this is your x of n. And then, so we're multiplying where uh, they meet. I think that's what it is. Okay, and so we multiply. So it is. They have that in common minus one and zero, and so that's that's a zero. So your first point into v of n is actually zero. Well, I'll circle that um, in red so you can see it. Okay, so we have a zero here. All right, so let's continue shifting. Um, okay, so let's continue shifting here. I probably won't have space, but. Minus 1, 2, 1, 1, and 0. Okay, so we're shifting it also to the right by 1. So we have 0, 1, 2, minus 1, and minus 2. And what do they have in common here? Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, plus 2 times 0 is 0, and so when you add those two, you'll have a minus 1, and so your next 1 in the sequence is minus 1, okay, and so we can keep going, shifting again, putting the 0 here to the right, right, because if you have a shifting, if you have a minus shifting, because we're dealing with minus k here, remember, um yeah so we're shifting it to the right that's what it is exactly yeah so i'm doing it right okay so uh, again we have um so this was our first one uh, we can keep going so minus one two one one zero and to the right so we have zero um what's one two minus 1 and minus 2 
So let me use red. 2 times 1 is minus 2. 2 plus 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 0 is 0. And this is a 0. So your next one in the sequence is 0. Okay, so as you can see here, it's the same thing the way we did it. Now, I definitely don't recommend um, doing this during the exam. Um, well, maybe I do because it may, this one may be faster. Well, let's see here. I don't know which one is faster because with, with the exam, the thing is you don't have to do all of it. It's multiple choice. So when you start with this and you see 0 minus 1, 0, and then you look at your answers and you know, in the sequence, you kind of see a pattern there that's, that it looks similar to this, and you can kind of stop somewhere. But um, if we were to keep going, it would be the same way. Um, okay, so then the next one would be shifting again. Oh, sorry. Two, one, one, and zero. Again, we're shifting to the right, so it will be under here. Zero, one, two, minus one, and minus two. All right, so we look at the ones that um, overlap, I guess. I called it meet, but it, it's the overlap. That's what you're dealing with. Um, and so this is the multiplication. You have a 1 here, plus 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1. Uh, plus 0. And so this is a 6. Now you can see here is the same exact results. Okay, and we keep going. Shifting and shifting and shifting. And then multiplying the overlaps. And adding the sum. And so uh, you will end up with... Uh, the final answer would be just like the uh, the previous video. You'll have a, a sequence like this: zero, um, minus one, zero, six, three, uh, minus three, minus three, minus two, and zero. So this is your V N basically. Okay, I just had to get that out of out of the way. Alright, so I hope I did not confuse you, um, but this is another way to uh, to do the shifting, you know, with, with convolution, the overlapping, and the shifting to the right, to the left, and things like that. Um, so that this is also another way to, to, to do it. So if you have any questions, you can leave comments, and if I'm doing anything wrong, you let me know in the comment section as well. I definitely appreciate um, peer checks. Alright, so uh, thank you and um, see you later for the next video.